Aloha and welcome to my channel. My name is Simran Shakti and today I will be leading us through a full body Ven Yen flow. So this is great for a morning to get activated and opened up for your day. It's also great in the afternoon to kind of clear and reset. This flow is inspired by the ovulation phase in a woman's cycle. So this is the last video in the series. I've done four. So ovulation is a time, the time where um, our, so it's sometimes called the inner summer. So this is when our energy is typically peaked. Um, our body temperature is hotter. We have we're like activated, we're putting the ideas into action, we're sustaining projects that we've already been working on. It's really like, in my experience, it's really like feet on the ground, inspiration is flowing and action is happening as well. So in this time of my cycle, um, it's really a good time to do any kind of workouts that you feel called to. Specifically, like weight training, high intensity interval training, running, whatever it is you like to do. Um, at this time, we have more, we have the most testosterone um, hormone in our body compared to any other phase in our cycle. So, this is a great time to build muscle, to build, to build stamina, strength. So, in our flow today, we will start with some vinyasa so getting into a nice flow getting that heat um build like build the heat and then channel it into building strength we'll work the core a little bit do some balancing poses and then we'll kind of cool it down with some long hold yen postures ah great so to get started let's yeah, come into an easy seat. So some way that you feel very comfortable. And you can sit up straight and your shoulders are relaxed down. And allow your eyes to rest closed. And start to send your inhales deep down into your low belly, filling up like a chalice from the bottom all the way up to the top through your ribs, chest. Continue here, connecting with your breath and endeavoring to deepen and smooth out the inhales and exhales. You feel called to release heat or energy or tension or thoughts. You can exhale with an open mouth. And if you're feeling called to cultivate inner heat and focus, you can exhale through your nose. Allow the edges of your mouth, the corners of your mouth to turn up slightly, a little smile. As you breathe here, it's acknowledging yourself for making it to your mat today. <sighs> Wonderful. And in this space, go ahead and set your intention for the practice, maybe for your day. And allow it to be short and sweet. Mm -hmm. And we'll open our practice and set the intention 
with one vibration of Aum together. So we'll bring hands together in Anjali Mudra, prayer. Exhale completely. Inhale to vibrate. Oh. Release your arms down. We'll inhale. Reach the arms wide and up. Come up onto your knees. Maybe blink your eyes open. Taking your gaze up. And exhale, cactus your arms, so squeeze your shoulder blades behind you, pulling elbows down to 90 degrees. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, just clear your hands through your field. And we'll get into our flow. So we'll start here in our tabletop. You can stretch your legs out, one and the other, or take any other intuitive movement here. <sighs> and allowing your breath to be your ultimate guide. Everything that I offer here is simply an invitation. Listen to your body first and let full inhales and full exhales lead the way. So here on our tabletop, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, tops of the feet pressing down. We'll inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, pull the heart forward. Exhale, round. Again. If you've practiced with me before, you know I love to make sounds on the exhale, so feel free to also give yourself that permission to sound when you exhale, if it feels good. We'll do one more, inhaling forward for cow, exhale, round into chest. And let's get a little circle action in through these hips, starting to oil up the pelvis joints. So going around. <sighs> Your circles can be however big or small you feel. We'll go the other direction, taking your time. This is a yoga class. So we are here to stretch open, to unify through our bodies, our minds, our emotions. Our spirit. And I always find it easier to do that when I'm not rushing. <laughs> Amazing. And then just take a moment, take a breath in child's pose. You can flip your palms up, give your wrists a little break. Inhale deep into your low belly, the back of your ribs. Plant your palms, spread your fingers wide, press into all 10 fingertips. We'll inhale, roll up through the spine, coming into our table. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. So keep a little bend in your knees, just honoring. Maybe this is your first movement of the day. Just exploring, feeling what this feels like. And take some intuitive movement, pressing down through heels. And then we'll find some stillness in the shape. Inhaling deep into your belly. Exhale, melt all the tension and let it drip, drip, drip 
out from your crown. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, and we'll just walk forward. Feet towards hands. Have some width in your feet, so wider than hip width. Knees are bent. Flip your palms facing up. Three deep breaths here, forward fold. Uttanasana. Let's do one more breath because it feels really good. <sighs> Releasing any tension from your jaw. On an inhale, with a bend in your knees, begin to roll up to stand. <sighs> Mountain pose. Find your stability here. So arms are like a mountain. Palms face forward, fingers are spread, shoulders down and back. Drop your tailbone, weight in your heels, little bend in the knees, core is engaged, heart is lifted. Inhale. Exhale, stick your tongue out. Inhale, circle your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, palms to shins, strong core. Exhale, fold. Plant your palms, step back, high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower down to your knees, come all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, tuck your toes and press through your plank and into downward facing dog. Cleansing breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Inhale, bend. Lift the heels, bend the knees, walk forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, melt forward, folding. Always feel free to keep a bend in your knees. Inhale, this time we'll come up with a flat back. So imagine you're lifting with your heart first. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath. And take another breath and just Take some circles through your hips. Massaging out the low back and go the other way. Bringing the Shakti, the fluidity, the feminine into our practice. Embracing both structure and intuitive movement and flow. Inhale, reach your arms wide and up. Exhale, fold forward. You can take your arms wide. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your palms, set back. The other foot first, high plank. Exhale, inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees, come all the way down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, engage through the glutes. Knees lift, press down through your feet. Engage through your low back. Maybe lift your hands, cobra. <sighs> Exhale, release, plant the palms. Plank, down dog. Take a breath. Release. <sighs> Maybe shake your head out, left and right. 
up and down. Just giving thanks for whatever your body is, giving a little bounce. And then we'll just bounce our way forward. <laughs> you can come forward however feels good to you. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, come on up, flat back, strong core. Exhale, hands to heart center. <sighs> Take a breath. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, fold. Swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, opposite foot, high plank. This time you can stay in your high plank. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. So bring 90 degrees through your arms. And then inhale, upward facing dog. Engaging through your glutes, pressing the tops of your feet down. Take a breath here. <sighs> Strong core, downward facing dog. Cleansing breath. <sighs> In our last vinyasa flow, we'll inhale, walk it forward. Exhale, bow. Inhale, this time, weight in the heels, bend the knees, roll up. Mountain pose. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, so now I'm gonna face you off for a little bit of balancing work. So you can just bring your hands to your hips for a moment. Just give a little movement, can be intuitive, can be different than me. Feeling what is here to feel in your body, in your hips, in your low back, bringing breath. To these spaces. <sighs> good, good, good. Carving out the space where this is invited, where this is celebrated. This is this is good. This is good. This is helpful. <laughs> okay. So we'll go into our tree pose, Vikshasana. So plant your feet so that you feel very stable and grounded. You can have your hands to your hips like me or anywhere else in your body. We'll shift the weight into our left foot and we'll just start with our right foot like this. So toes are down. This is a great tree pose, a great place to stay. If you like to go a little more, you can bring balance in. Focusing your gaze on one point in front of you, maybe in front of you on the ground, that's still, to start moving. We call that a dirsti. Maybe you stay here, or maybe you'd like to get into that inner thigh, bringing the foot up. You just want to make sure that you're not pressing your foot against your knee. And from here, find a place where your hands feel good. Think about squeezing through the right glute and opening that right knee out, engaging it, pressing your hips forward, micro bend in your left knee and anchoring your left foot down. You are a tree, so maybe imagine roots growing out from your left foot. You are stable. And if you fall out, no big deal. I invite you to giggle and try again. Okay, stay where you are. If you'd like a little extra balance challenge, you can reach your arms up and then reach your, lift your gaze up. 
Breathing into your belly, fully exhaling, fully inhaling. And we'll bring the prayer on down. Good work. Shake out that left foot. Ah, okay, okay. Let's shake out our arms a little bit and our whole body. Bounce, 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 bounce. And we'll put the weight in our right foot now. Starting off our tree pose in a very humble space. This is plenty. You can still work on that external engagement, pulling your knee open with your left glute. Or maybe you want to play with bringing your foot higher. Find that good place for your hands. Maybe you notice the side is different. Lovingly observing what you find. No judgment needed. This observation. <sighs> Allowing your roots to drop. <sighs> and if you'd like, you can reach your arms up for a balance challenge. Maybe lift your gaze up. Shoulders relax down. We'll bring our hands down and release, shaking out your legs, shaking out your hands. Amazing work. All right, let's get square on this mat and flow it out. You're going to stretch out your feet, do a little dance. Inhale, reach your arms wide enough. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, walk your hands forward now. We're going to take a moment to get acquainted with our core. So come on down to your forearms. Now, ladies, if you're on your moon time, can be on your knees or any other way that feels good for you. We're going to get into Kapalabhati, Skull Shining Breath or Breath of Fire. So what it looks like is a rapid exhale through the nostrils and the inhale happens naturally. And you're also pumping your navel when you exhale. So you exhale, pull your navel towards your spine. It looks like this. Again, if you're on your moon time, just take long, deep breaths. Otherwise, we're going to do 54 counts. So come into your plank. Take a deep breath in. Begin. Inhale, hold. Exhale, release your knees down. We're going to come into Sphinx Pose. <sighs> Releasing and opening up the core muscles. Now moving more in toward our yin flow. <sighs> so elbows are under shoulders. Your fingers spread wide, pressing down through your hands, pressing down through the tops of your feet. A gentle tuck of the tail, pressing into your pubic bone. And imagine you're dragging your heart forward, crown is shining up towards the sky. Relax through your jaw. So we'll hold our yin poses 
in this part of the practice for about two minutes. Finding our edge, resolving to be still, holding the pose. So check in that your low back is feeling spacious. If it's feeling crunchy, you want to tuck your tail and press into your pubic bone a little more. From here, we're going to move into a supine twist. So inhale to press into your hands, straighten your arms. And then come on down and we'll just weave our left arm under. Bringing a 90 degree bend into the right leg. And then opening your right arm out to a T or a 90 degree if that's what you got for space, like me. Ah, I'm just breathing here. Getting adjusted so that you can fully let go. So that you can fully let be. Start to bring movement back into your body and very slowly and mindfully we'll transition, bringing our right arm to meet the left, pressing into the hands, and then just coming back through the middle. You can come to Sphinx. Take a breath here. And then we'll thread the right arm under, bringing the left knee to a 90 degree angle, and then opening up for a twist. So your left shoulder is reaching down for the ground, might not be touching, that's okay. Right shoulder is touching the ground. Gaze can be up, palms face up. Full inhales, full exhales.
Inhale, we'll transition, rainbowing our left arm back over. Ah, pressing your hips down, planting into that left hand, and just coming back through the middle. Interlace your fingers or stack your hands under your forehead. Bend through your knees and windshield wiper. Your feet side to side, low back release. And bring your feet back up towards the sky and roll out your ankles. And the other direction. Breathing into your belly here, getting a massage with your breath and the floor. We'll tuck our toes behind us, plant the palms and just press on back. Keep your toes tucked, shifting your hips back. So it's like a child's pose with the knees together and the toes tucked. And on an inhale, bring yourself up. Take your time. We'll come into our final couple of postures. So stepping your right foot forward into a lunge shape. You can have your hands down. You want this to be passive since it is a yen style pose. So fingertips or knuckles down. And just allowing your hips to get really heavy here, breathing into any areas of tension. <sighs> Completely relax through your jaw, through your face and your shoulders. Inhale, press into your right heel, shift your hips back, straighten that right leg, can have a little bend. And we'll come into this half split fold. If you have uh, props or blocks and you need extra height from the floor, feel free to grab those. You can also have a very good, generous bend in your knee to make this accessible. Maybe allow your crown to drop, and breathing into the length of your spine and the length of the back side of your right leg. Inhale, lift your gaze toward the horizon. 
And exhale, we'll bend through the front leg. Pivot on our back knee. Walk your hands to the other side of the mat. Plant your right, your left hand. Lift through your right arm. Big stretch. Exhale, take your right arm alongside your head. And we'll just come on back through. And we'll just change sides. So stepping your right foot back, maybe taking a moment to move intuitively. Maybe grab a sip of something yummy. will come into it on the left side so left foot forward and just melting softening your hips here on the inhales you bring presence to the area of tension on the exhale you soften just a little bit if you can Inhale, press into your left heel, shifting your hips back, half split, so straightening that left leg any amount. Keep a bend to support you wherever you are. We're just looking for a nice opening in the left hamstring and also a nice opening along the spine. So maybe you drop your crown heavy and breathe here. Soften through your jaw. And soften all of the muscles everywhere in your body, however much you can. Inhale, lift your gaze. <sighs> Exhale, bend into that front knee. We'll pivot on the back knee. Plant your right palm at the opposite end of the mat. Inhale, lift your left arm up for a big stretch. And exhale, reach that arm long alongside your ear. And we'll just walk ourselves back forward. Just getting square to the top of the mat. And from here, we'll just come to sit on our heels. Shake out the wrists from all that good work. We'll make our way onto our backs. So plant your feet in front of you about hip width. Reach your arms forward, tall through your spine. Inhale. And exhale. See curve. Engaging your core and lowering down. Starting with your tail. Low back. Let it shake mid-back. 
and upper back. Whew. And you can just hug your knees in, little rock side to side. Ah, oh, so good, so good, so good. So before we go into our final integration rest, we're going to do something really bold. This is another big core blast. So my ladies, if you're on your moon time, you can stay here or find any other relaxing posture and breathe long and deep. Your body is doing enough work already. For everyone else, we're going to do stretch pose. This is one of my favorite poses from the Kundalini Yoga tradition. So we'll be working with that breath of fire again, rapidly exhaling through the nose, pumping the navel. And we'll lengthen. So you want to make sure your low back is nice and sealed to the mat. We'll lengthen our arms forward, palms facing in, feet out, legs straight, and we'll do 54 counts here. You're most likely already shaking. Go. Inhale, hold. Ah, exhale, release, my friends. Come into your final, most important posture, Shavasana. If you'd like, you can do um, Supta Baddha Konasana, so like a butterfly through your legs. Soles of feet together, knees wide. Maybe you reach your arms overhead or any other traditional style of Shavasana. Ah, releasing the breath practice, releasing the movement practice. And coming to rest and receive for about a minute or so. Begin to deepen your breathing. And take a swallow, lick your lips. And bring tiny movements to start back into your body temple. Mindfully and gently reawakening your physical body. 
and we'll reach long from fingers to toes. Good morning, good day, wherever you are. And exhale, allow your knees to come into chest. Taking a moment to say thank you to yourself, to your highest self, for guiding you here to this moment. And we'll allow our knees to fall off to one side. Having a moment in this posture, this is the rebirth the fetal position through the yoga portal of Shavasana, which is the death, rebirthing, giving thanks to the Aina, the earth, the one that nourishes from the soil. And when you are ready, in not a moment, before, press yourself up to a seat. Whenever you arrive in your seat, just settle here, connecting to your breath. Connecting to the intention that you set. Connecting to a sense of ease. Spaciousness. We'll bring our hands together at heart center. And we'll close our practice with one chant of Om. Exhale. Inhale to chant. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing. I pray that you have a beautiful rest of your day. And I'll see you again soon. And as always, if you vibe, like and subscribe. Aloha.